Hey everyone, Cody here, and I wanted to talk about a question that I see a lot of, and the question is, what makes an abstract painting good? I mean, because a lot of people just, <laughs> they don't like abstract because, one, they think it's overpriced, and two, anybody can do it, which may actually be partly true on both of those, and I talk about this in other videos. Um, so if that's the case, if anyone can do it, and it's overpriced, why is it even good or or is it even good well i think the answer comes down to yes but it's subjective right obviously what you like is going to be different than what i like and you could also look at any style of painting and think that one is better than another than the other regardless of the style right and so because of that um you know the question of what makes abstract art good really comes down to kind of the quality so what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at two different types of paintings, even done in the same style, one could look better than the other. Okay, so even in abstract, even poured paintings, which I, I'm not a big fan of poured paintings because I think it's really just cheap and easy to do and everybody does it, right? There's not a lot of technique involved. You, you pour it and then you tilt it, it's done. Same could be said for some of my other paintings, so I guess I can't really even stand on that argument. But that being the case, if if it's that easy for everyone to do, then how can you say it's good? Well, really, if if you judge a bunch of the same style of painting together, you can kind of see basically if the if the artist meant to do it. Okay, so this is what I look for. So when I follow other artists or look at other artists online, you know. I judge their work. I'm sure people look at mine and judge mine, and that's fine. Um, even, I mean, as an artist, I judge my own work against other people's, and I, I know we shouldn't as artists. We should just be like, okay, this is, I either like this or I don't. But at the same time, I like having some kind of framework to, to look at other people's paintings and kind of decide whether or not that's good or not. Now, how you can tell if it is an abstract, like, good or not, is by looking at kind of the... The quality of the painting so here's what I mean by that does it look like the artist intended to create the painting that they created right does it look and, and, and moreover does it look professional so there's a lot of paintings there's a lot of just abstract art in general that is crap I mean let's just be honest let's I mean you could even say my stuff is that but if there is a lot of stuff out there that it's i mean even even not looking at abstract and looking at you know drawings or uh realist paintings or sculptures or whatever there's a there's there's a certain level of quality and you can tell just by looking at it. so recently i came across a guy named thomas hamar and i i'll probably link to him somewhere in the description I just recently found his work and I was really impressed with it because his paintings are very clean. So it's abstract, right? And he, he does, you know, these scrape paintings and he does these uh, drip paintings. He does different, a uh, couple of different styles. But the paintings themselves, sorry it's so loud, uh, but the paintings themselves are very clean. So what I mean by that is like if you look at his work, the work itself looks like it was intended. Okay, so you may think that abstract, you, it's just like, oh, you just threw it on there and you kept it. Well, that could be the case. And sometimes if you, if you do it enough times, you're, you're bound to get a few that turn out good. That can happen. You could sell it and it's, it's art, right? It is. I mean, if you put it on the wall, whether it's good or not, good or not, it's still considered art, right? But when I look at the work of someone like this guy, Thomas, just looking at the work it's professional so first off the work itself looks like he meant to do it so the you know the the colors they're uh, they're very distinct very crisp uh, his line work is very like very clean like it's not messy like he didn't like he didn't intend it but then sold it anyway it looks like he intended to create the look that he created uh, another thing is that it, there's a certain level of professionalism that you you can kind of take a look at the the work itself right so if someone just puts it together and like say it looks unfinished 
Um, as far as like maybe the sides aren't painted or um, like it just looks like they just threw something on there but they didn't actually like they weren't intending to create it so there's a certain level of like professionalism where like does the photo like does it look like they don't care enough to take a decent photo uh, there's just a lot of different things so in order to tell if it's good or not obviously the, the first thing is that it's going to be your emotional response I mean it's subjective whether you think a piece is prof like good is gonna be different than what someone else thinks right so a big part of abstract art is not necessarily the line work like the Mona Lisa you can look at it and and you know what it is so everybody judges it based on the surface but with abstract it's really more of does it make you feel anything do you feel anything positive probably uh, when you look at that painting when you stare at it does it say, make you say wow that's cool or like I, I just feel something when I maybe you can't even describe it right so first off to, to determine whether an abstract painting is good or not is one does it provoke an emotional response a lot of abstract is about emotion like does it make you feel comfortable does it feel like it fits the space does it feel like um, when you look at it you you can see something in it or or just makes you feel something right so part of that is emotional response second does it look intended so does this piece look like they were trying to do something specific with it like can you see the technique in it or does it look like they were trying to achieve something or does it just look like they just threw it on there and then that was it right you could argue that with a lot of like Pollock's work right because Pollock is these drip paintings but at the same time there there was a specific look that he was going for now he probably gets the most flack out of everybody because it's you know dripped and stuff like that but even in that you could still be trying to achieve a certain level of uh, balance between the colors or a certain amount of uh, color in the middle of the painting and not around the edges you you still can can achieve a certain look with that technique and you would know if it was good or not because of you know the the balance or how much lines there are and how how much color there is you know that that that's really subjective now again another thing is that it, it, it goes from piece to piece as far as uh, every piece is, is kind of on its own so what you may feel about one piece with the same colors may be different about another piece with the same colors same technique but they could they could turn out two different ways and you like one more than another so sometimes it's a case-by-case -case basis whether you think that a piece is good or not just based on the way that it turned out so even if it's a good piece you may not like that particular piece but then the artist has a similar one and you're like oh I like that one but you don't know why right it's just because of the way that it makes you feel so it comes back to that so the first part is the emotion you know you can tell if a piece is good if it makes you feel something usually positive but even if you if it makes you hate it um, it's still provoked a piece now you could hate a piece and still think it's good like oh I don't really like that style but that's pretty cool right so does it evoke emotion if it doesn't then maybe it's not good or at least not to you second you know does it look like it was intended you know uh, this piece wasn't like I didn't intend it to look this way right this one was uh, this this piece is just a bunch of colors I had left over and I scraped them and I did not like the way it looked right so I, it did not turn out uh, the way that I wanted it to so it was not intended and that's why I, I'm not selling it so it, it didn't turn out you know the way that I wanted or at least you know good right to me so you could look at this and think it's good which you probably don't but I look at it and I don't think it's good and I'm the artist so that's there's that the third part is the professionalism and what I mean by that is a certain level of quality and so going back to the previous statement I just made it it kind of like do you see quality in this like so what what do I mean by that I mean if you're the artist you know whether or not the quality of something you make is good or not okay so and it's it's what someone else feels is not necessarily what you feel so someone else could see it and be like oh that's cool but you as the artist are like oh and you know because in, intrinsically you don't think it's good now even though the style like one person might like the style or not there still needs to be a certain level of professionalism so what do I mean by that well 
since I don't like this painting and I don't feel comfortable with the way it turned out, I won't sell it. I'm not in the business of just sending out paintings just because I made them and, and trying to sell them and make a quick buck. No, I don't believe in that. If I don't like the quality of the piece, I'm not going to sell it. And so you kind of have to look at that. Like, is there, is it, does it look like something that you would buy? You know, even if you're not going to buy it, would you buy it if you had the money? You know, does it look like something that is good enough to buy, even if you don't want to buy it yourself? So that's kind of what I do. Uh, like going back to that Thomas from ours guy, I saw some of his paintings and I was like, man, even though I'm an abstract painter and I could probably make something similar, I could not replicate what he does. And some of his paintings are phenomenal and I love them. I think the colors are great. I think that uh, he's got a great eye for balance, all these other things, right? And even though I make abstract art, I would still buy it if I had the money because I enjoy it. And see, I used to think that, well, I'm an abstract artist, so why would I buy abstract art from other people? But after seeing some of those works, I was like, mm, well, I, I would still buy that, even being an abstract artist, because I want to support other artists, but also because I think the quality is there. Um, and then I always talk about Suarez, you know, Ed from Suarez. You know, there's a there's a one particular, there's a couple of, actually a couple of paintings that are like, if I had the money, I would buy it. And, you know, they're professional. These guys are professional. Like, they do it for a living. And, you know, their their paintings just look good. So coming back to that, does it look like that, does it look like they care about the product? That's my biggest thing. Um, when you look at a painting, does it, does it seem like, you know, to me, a good painting is something that they took the time to actually put out a decent product like does it look like something that they that is de a decent quality okay so I know that seems kind of long-winded coming back to that but like I don't think that this is good quality so I won't sell it to me it's not good um, and so I won't sell it like if I didn't like this painting right here if I didn't like this painting um, if I didn't think it turned out good I wouldn't sell it and I, this isn't my favorite painting but I think you know, I think it's a good quality. I'm not, I'm not trying to like promo it or sell it. I'm just saying that there, you know, if it didn't turn out good to me, then I wouldn't turn around and sell it to other people. So does it look like something you would buy? So kind of recapping, you know, what makes abstract art good? Well, one, it's got to, it's got to invoke some kind of emotion. If it doesn't evoke emotion in you, then it may not be good. Now, again, that's subjective. Every person will think differently and it's case by case. So you could see two different pieces, sorry, two different pieces from the same artist and like this one and hate this one. I mean, there's, there's artists that I follow that I love some of their work and hate others. It's all the same artist. Just because I like the artist doesn't mean I like all the work they did, right? So does it invoke emotion? Two, does it look like they intended to do that? Does it look like that artist meant to do something with that art, that piece that it's it's worth like it, like the piece is its own i don't know how else to explain that in a way um that kind of makes sense but does the piece look like it was intended to to represent that artist okay so does it look like it was you know they meant to do that you know does it look good um the third one is you know is it professional so is it good like, did the, the artist care about the piece that they made? Did they just slap it together and, and, and send it out into the world because they're just trying to get more work in the world? Or does it look like they actually cared about the piece that they made? So if they cared about that piece, you can tell. You can tell both in the way they present it and in the way that it looks, you know? So, you know, those three things, that's how I can tell if a, if a piece of abstract art is good. I just look at those three things, you know, does it invoke us? Oh, this looks really cool. Two, does it look intended? Oh man, they, they, I could tell that they were trying to achieve this look. Um, and three, you know, do they represent it well? Oh wow, they, they even framed it. You know, they make a little frame around that painting. I can tell that they care about this piece because they went through all that effort. That's it. That's for me. Um, that is how I tell if I'm shark art. I mean, if you have other ways to tell if a abstract art is good or bad, please leave a comment and, and tell me what you think. If you think all abstract art is bad, you're definitely welcome to leave that comment too. I've heard that a lot. 
but I don't think that, you know, there's good and bad everything. There's good and bad realist paintings. There's good and bad drawings. There's good and bad sculptures. There's good and bad everything. And I do think that there is good abstract in the world. Um, and some is better than others based on those three things that I told you. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, rate, share, subscribe, all that stuff, the bell, all the jazz. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in, in looking at pieces I have available, please visit my site. Um, but otherwise, I just want to hear from you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.